Hey everybody, Jem Schofield of the C47, and welcome to these special videos where I focus on the Zeiss Bodice family of lenses. This particular video is an overview, so we're going to be getting into the specs of the lenses, we're going to be talking about unique features, I'll talk a little bit about their application in production, camera compatibility, and we'll also take a look at some sample footage of the lenses at each of their focal lengths, so let's get started. Let's start with our focal lengths. On the wide end, we have the 18 millimeter. Then we have the 25 millimeter. The 40 millimeter, which is a close focus lens. We'll be talking a little bit more about that later in the video. We have our portrait lens, the 85. And on the telephoto side, we have the 135. So before we get into the nitty gritty, the specs, the numbers having to do with each of these lenses and this entire family, let's go ahead and talk about some of their key features and key features primarily related to video production and filmmaking applications and environments. Now, all of these lenses are full frame. They are full frame prime lenses with E-mount, which means you can use them on APS-C, super 35 millimeter based and full frame camera systems with that mount. They're small, they're lightweight, and they are weather sealed. So if you're using them with a weather sealed camera body, then you can use them in lots of different environments and shooting conditions. And for me, probably the most important thing to talk about with the bodice family of lenses is the autofocus system. It is quiet, it is fast, and in situations in video production and filmmaking where you don't have a focus puller, you don't have a large crew, you are doing handheld running gun type stuff. You're putting the camera system up on a gimbal system. You're flying that camera system on a drone and you really need to rely upon the AF system of your camera. And of course you need good AF from the lenses in order to do that. Now, before I get into some unique features of the bodice family, I now want to go into those specs, those numbers, that nitty gritty. We're going to start with the 18 millimeter lens. The bodice 18 millimeter weighs 330 grams or 0.73 pounds. It has an aperture range of f2.8 to f22. It has 11 lens elements in 10 groups. The focusing range is 25 centimeters, 9.8 inches to infinity. And the free working distance, which is from the front of the lens to your subject matter is 17 centimeters, 6.7 inches to infinity. Lastly, the filter thread is 77 millimeters. The bodice 25 millimeter weighs 335 grams, 0.74 pounds. It has an aperture range of f2 to f22. It has 10 lens elements in eight groups. The focusing range is 20 centimeters, 7.9 inches to infinity. And the free working distance is 13 centimeters, 5.1 inches to infinity with a filter thread size of 67 millimeters. The Zeiss Bodice 40 CF or close focus lens weighs 361 grams, 0.8 pounds. It has an aperture range of F2 to F22. There are nine lens elements in eight groups. The focusing range is 24 centimeters, 9.4 inches to infinity. The free working distance is 14 centimeters, 5.5 inches to infinity and the filter thread size is 67 millimeters. The Zeiss Bodice 85 weighs 452 grams, one pound. It has an aperture range of f1.8 to f22. It has 11 lens elements in eight groups. The lens has optical image stabilization built in. The focusing range is 80 centimeters, 31.5 inches to infinity. The free working distance is 71 centimeters, 28 inches to infinity. And the filter thread size is 67 millimeters. And finally, the Zeiss Bodice 135 weighs 614 grams, 1.35 pounds. It has an aperture range of f2.8 to f22. It has 14 lens elements in 11 groups. It has built-in optical image stabilization. It has a focusing range of 87 centimeters, 34.3 inches to infinity, a free working distance of 74 centimeters, 29.1 inches to infinity, and it has a filter thread size of 67 millimeters. Now that we've gotten those tech specs out of the way, it's time to talk about some unique features that I think are important to go over related to this family of lenses when being used with E-mount based camera systems. 
Number one, though, we have to talk about that OLED display. Every single time somebody sees it, they say, what's that? Well, quite simply, it is a digital display that allows you to see not only your focus distance, but depth of field information in real time from your lenses when used with your camera systems. And that can be set to both meters and centimeters or feet and inches. And it is a great feedback tool for you to use when you're using these lenses in your productions. The next thing I want to talk about is this 40 millimeter CF or close focus lens. It is not a true macro lens, but you can get really, really close, 24 centimeters away from your subject. And the thing to really talk about is that switch on the side of the lens, which has three positions. So in most situations, full is going to be your general purpose setting on that switch. The middle position might make a lot of sense where you don't want the lens to try to get close focus. So you can set that to 40 centimeters to infinity. And then when you want that close focus, you can set it to that bottom position on the switch, which will allow you to focus between 24 centimeters and 50 centimeters without trying to hunt for or find anything outside of that range. The next feature I want to talk about is not specific to the bodice family of lenses, but is something that you can find in many of Sony's camera bodies, including most of the Alpha series of cameras and also the FS5 and FS5 II and it's called clear image zoom. So you go into the menu system and you choose clear image zoom. And once that's chosen, what I would do is then go in and assign that to one of the assignable buttons on your camera body. And then it all depends on your resolution of your camera system in terms of how far you can zoom. So if we're shooting in HD, we can do a 2X. If we're shooting in UHD 4K, we can do a 1.5X. What's amazing about this is there's really no discernible image quality loss when you're using clear image zoom. So what does that mean in real world terms? Well, if I'm taking this bot as 25 and I'm shooting in HD, that means I can zoom from 25 millimeters through to 50 millimeters in terms of my angle or field of view. Pretty impressive with a prime lens. If I'm shooting in UHD 4K, that means with this 40 millimeter lens, I can go between a 40 millimeter and a 60 millimeter field of view or angle of view with that lens. The 135 millimeter bodice on a compatible camera body with clear image zoom, we can get to 202 millimeter equivalent in terms of our angle of view. So from an application standpoint, yes, this is gonna be a huge advantage in documentary but also small to no crew where you're using a gimbal or a drone. And for me in particular, when I'm shooting in 4K and I'm finishing in 4K, so not 4K for 1080 in post, but when I need to compositionally get exactly what I need, but I also want that image quality, then being able to use clear image zoom is really an advantage with these prime lenses. So what does that mean in terms of image quality? Well, in video production and filmmaking applications, that means being able to resolve to 4K plus resolutions, which these lenses do. It means that they are full frame, so I can use them with all of these different camera systems with E-mount. It also has to do with that Zeiss image that they reproduce. So contrast, color reproduction, obviously sharpness, minimizing stray light, and then of course, the fact that all of these Zeiss lenses in this family match the other Zeiss lenses in other families. So if I'm shooting with Loxia one day and then I switch over to a gimbal or a drone type scenario with the bodice lenses and their AF system, I'm not going to be spending a lot of time in post-production making sure that those images match because they already match within those families from Zeiss. So the last thing I'd really like to do inside of this video is show you some footage from these five different lenses in the bodice family. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's actually start off with the longest lens in the bodice family, the 135, which like any telephoto, gives you that reach that you might need in certain shooting situations. And it's also great for dynamic separation between your foreground and background elements. For the 85 here, we're taking a look at it being balanced on a drone. And as you can see here, we can get some extremely dynamic shots with that lens. This wound up becoming one of my favorites in the bodice family, along with our next lens in the family, which is the 40. 
And the 40 here is just a workhorse of a lens. I love using this on full frame camera systems. And with the close focus feature, it is something that gives you a whole nother dynamic. And then we switched over to the 25, which is great for those establishing shots, but also getting it up onto a drone or for landscapes. And then speaking of landscapes, the 18 millimeter, which is just a fantastic lens to show you the scope of a space and work beautifully at Red Rock Canyon Conservation Center up on the drone on a full frame sensor camera system. So there you have it. That is a pretty comprehensive overview of the Bodice family of lenses. Be sure to check out the other video, the lens application video, where we take these bodice lenses out and we use them in handheld, shoulder mount, gimbal, and drone-based applications. Thanks for watching.